Hey guys, it's Drummond. So I am just trying to calm down from watching the third episode of American Horror Story this season. It's gotten intense. At first I thought the season was just a little bit too crazy for me. I didn't think that it was something that I could continue to watch, but the third episode definitely pulled me back in. I'm starting to realize why they're calling it The Cult, and all the actors and everyone in that show are so crazy. The only one I think that's actually normal is probably the wife of the crazy woman, so I guess we'll see how that goes. But as you can tell from the thumbnail of this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about my experience with the locked rooms. When I actually went to VidCon, I actually saw Joey Graceffa and his Escape the Night YouTube series that is actually on YouTube Red. If you guys haven't checked it out, you should definitely get YouTube Red so you can actually watch it because it's really cool. Because instead of an escape room, it's more of an escape house. And it's like haunted house themed, so definitely something that I suggest watching. But I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about my experiences with the lock rooms. I've actually done two so far with my friends. The first time we did it with six people, the second time we did it with 11 people. The first one we did was actually called Shutter Room, which was kind of themed like you were locked in the basement and you were supposed to solve the mystery so that you could help this toy maker's soul like go to heaven or something. And it actually was pretty cool. We ended up getting out of that one. Some of the clues were crazy and like an example was like we opened a chest with one of the clues and inside was like a hair dryer and an extension cord which you ended up having to like blow on something and they were using thermal paint which went clear after you used the blow dryer to heat it up and it was just so cool we actually got out of that one and I felt so accomplished the second one was actually a Sherlock Holmes themed room and we didn't end up getting out of that one. I don't know if it was because when we were in there one of the locks was already unlocked and we kind of got a little confused because they said it was like a linear room which means the clues kind of like led to each other you couldn't really skip around. And the fact that we found a clue really early and we were focusing so much of our time because you only get an hour, we were focusing so much time on a clue that we didn't even have the other parts to. So I feel like that had a huge role to play in us not getting out, but a lot of the clues were really hard and honestly I went into that room thinking that because it was based off of Sherlock Holmes I was just like this one's going to be hard. They had rated it a little bit lower, but because it was a new room I believe they've raised up the rating for it. I think it's a little bit higher now than the shutter room. But I ended up getting the t-shirt which is really cool, um, you can see on the back. They had another shirt that said we escaped, but I felt like because we didn't get out of the second room that it would be a little bit false advertisement, but I guess since we got out of one, we should have just quit while we were ahead. But I will say, I think having six people in a room was probably better because we communicated better, whereas having 11 people, which was like doubling how many people we had in the room almost, to where it was harder to communicate and everyone was just everywhere. So if you ever do a lock room, which I highly suggest, I would say take people that you're able to communicate with, people who are very educated because some of the clues require some thinking and just be really open. Uh, I will say at the one that we went to here in Lynchburg, they give you a walkie so that you can ask for hints, but everyone in the room has to agree to accept a hint from them. I will say with the first one we only needed one hint and we got out with 10 minutes to spare. Uh, the second room, the Sherlock Holmes theme room, we literally were asking for hint after hint after hint after we got to about 15 minutes left in the room we were like, without hints we're not getting out. So if you guys haven't done an escape room definitely check it out. It's becoming a new fad in the United States. I have seen escape rooms popping up in all the major cities and a lot of small places as well. I was actually thinking about talking to my dad about turning one of the houses that we have on our farm into an escape room. I was thinking like turning it into like a haunted farm or something because the basement in one of the houses is really creepy. At the moment we're not really using the house for anything. My dad's been talking to my sister about turning it into an Airbnb which 
I think would be really cool as well, but because we live in the middle of nowhere, it's not really a place that a lot of people would choose as a destination, but I feel like an escape room, we'd be making a lot of money because, I mean, the escape room that I went to, we each paid $20. You can rent the room, and it's a little bit cheaper, but if you want to pay like separately, it ends up costing you about $20 a person, which, totally worth it. It's a lot of fun. It's something different. I feel like a lot of people, instead of going out and getting drunk with your friends, going into an escape room, which they don't really allow alcohol. So I think if they can tell that you're intoxicated, they won't let you in. So it's not something you want to do drunk. Uh, one of my friends said she went with some of her friends and they were drunk and they didn't get out and they were really upset. They actually did the shutter room that me and my other friends did get out of. The first time I went, I actually went with my friends Austin, Jasmine, Matt, of course, uh, Wesley, and Casey. And we ended up getting out, but the clues were amazing. If you guys haven't done it already, definitely do one. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you've done an escape room, leave some comments in the section below. If you think we should turn our house into an escape room on the farm, Drop some comments in the comment section below and give us some ideas for what you think the room should be. There's several rooms in the house, so I figured we could make the most out of the house and make it into several different cool rooms. But I hope you guys have a great week, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!